Dory, what are you doing out here? Hi, hello, my name is Kat and welcome to today's video. I'm here with our lovely friends over at Pixel Split Games to talk about their new game, Reveal. We'll be diving into some gameplay today, which you have not seen before, and some that you may have seen a little bit at PAX East. But anyways, I will let my friends over at Pixel Split introduce themselves before we jump into some gameplay. Hi, um, I'm Bennett from Pixel Split. This is Stefan. Um, we both founded Pixel Split a few years ago. We are a remote um, game development studio from Germany. And yeah, our current title is Reveil. Um, I'm there for the technical part mostly. And you, Stefan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm there for the visual part and we're really excited to show you. Um, a bit, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So we are going to jump into the game now and just kind of chat while we play. And I'm very excited to see this because I haven't actually seen even the opening bit yet. So you guys will have to show me all the, the little cool puzzles that I'm sure they're coming to the beginning. A strange dream. My head hurts. I need to get this headache under control. Well, these right thrown help. into it, huh? From the very I beginning. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So you are uh, Walter Thompson, the, the the main character, and yeah, you wake up in this house, which will play an important role during the game. Mm. Well, I think yeah. Martha and Dory are still up. So what would you say if you had to describe this game in just like a quick sentence or less? What do you think the, the game is really about? It's a first person narrative psycho thriller um, focused on a big narrative, I would say. And mm. it, it plans in puzzle elements, horror elements and other gameplay elements. Um, yeah, I guess this, this sums it up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, that sounds perfect. And do you get that story? I already took care of all the circus stuff, which leaves me with the rest, as always. I'll let Walter speak. <laughs> <laughs> I won't interrupt you, Walter. I apologize. <laughs> but uh, do you think the story really kicks off right from the beginning, yeah, or is it kind Martha. of something that you have to kind of find? You, as you, you have go? to unravel it. So you, you have to, mm. to find out what's going on. Um, Walter is a bit confused all the time, and you really have to, to figure mm. out why and what is going on. And yeah, so it's, it's also a bit of a mystery and you really um, try busy. to figure out um, what this is all about. I think this was That's really cool. And I love this kind of thing of finding new little clues as you go to. I'm very much like a detective gamer, so I love <laughs> that kind of stuff. It seems like kind of a new genre for you guys. Um, what kind of made you think to do the psycho psychological thriller and horror route? So... Um, we like to do all sorts of genres and this was on our i would say call it bucket list <laughs> for a long time mm -hmm. um yeah and it, it took us quite quite long to we, initially we thought it would be way easier to to produce such a game and now we are here uh, after five years <laughs> and wow. um yeah but what we really um we love these types types of games and it's a new challenge for mm. us um before we focused a bit on gameplay heavier uh, game strategy and action whatever uh, you might call it mm -hmm. and this time a more narrative and really focused on visual set pieces etc and yeah. yeah the visuals look incredible already what was it like kind of developing a game that's like nearly photorealistic in the Someone way that it looks the record player on. it was, was was kind of new to us uh, our last games were more, more uh, simple um, Where are they? So it it was a lot of, of research that we had to mm. do because our game plays in the 70s mostly on the circus mm. and yeah nowadays you don't know these locations. Yeah, <laughs> that's so interesting. Yeah, you mentioned the circus, which we'll see a bit of later. Of this track. Um, it's a very unique setting. So what was the research process like for that? Mostly we we got inspiration from from movies from the old movies mm. from the 80s like horror movies or movies in general um, um yeah and a lot of research through uh, image search okay. and old newspapers mm. and stuff um, because we wanted that the props feel realistic 
So yeah, um, I definitely get that nostalgic for like horror movies and stuff. Yeah. Is there any other media that you guys were inspired by when you were creating this story? Um, actually, most of of them were from movies. I mean, it was not a specific mm. movie. Mostly some scenes from movies. Um, mm. Dory, is that you? Because we love the the look that um, the old movies had. Absolutely. So now we are in Dory's room. Mm. Oh, look at all the stuff that you can look at. That's yeah. And this crazy. is some some kind of puzzle segment. Um, you can call it like an escape room or something like that. Um, ah, you have very cool. various um, props and machines here. Um, mm. And you have to figure out um, how they are connected. So looks like let's a, take map. a look at the map. Uh, Dory painted. Um, oh. Yeah. So first of all, I took it home from the circus. It's old. You but find this machine part. here. It's a recreation of a um, vintage, I, I think, 60 or 50s um, to put in here. arcade machine. Uh, oh, very cool. Yeah. So you need a coin for here. So mm. next step is to find a coin. The sound design of like each item must have taken ages. That's really amazing. You can hear the, the like how each inter machine. object interacts. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah, what well, it was quite quite important for us. So the, uh, getting proper atmosphere and mm. yeah, this comes down to visuals and, and sound design. Um, yeah, which was mainly I guess that's Stephen's direction when you're that. inspired by horror movies too, especially the older older horror movies. Like I feel so much of the tension comes from work. sound design and visuals <laughs> like that that are kind of like very minimalist but can have a really big impact do you think that's kind of part of that yeah of course um our, our sound design is mostly environmental sounds and uh, we have some kind of ambience music and we have also mm -hmm. uh, some soundtrack but it's more uh, a supporting role in our game let's take red <laughs> my favorite color <laughs> Dory loves these, so I made one for her. Oh, I love these puzzles. <laughs> they were tricky sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of like two puzzles back to back that are very like inspired by real world puzzles, very physical stuff. What was it like developing these kind of more haptic physical puzzles into a game? Harder than we thought. Um, Especially mm. this one, I don't know. It's a tense iteration or something <laughs> to 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 get, it, to get it right in the in the end. Um, but now it feels good, I would say. Um, yeah, and it was super important to us to to make stuff feel physical and uh, to to really yeah. even though you have the your, the mouse in your hand, you you, you feel it, you, you feel the movement uh, in your hand right. and how it reacts, and that was quite important to us. Um, it didn't work out all, all, all the way, so fun and mm. usability was like also um, an issue with that because if you just go into yeah, physics, whatever, then sometimes it gets too 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 annoying for, for the player, um, so it's mm. always mm. Some, some sort of balance, but it was really a yeah, huge goal for us to, to make it feel very haptical. Yeah, that's such a hard thing to accomplish with a, a mouse, but you can definitely feel like you're in that story, like actually touching these objects and stuff with the sound design and with the kind of eerie nature of everything. That's very cool. And so is there any like worry of puzzles being too difficult or do you think that they kind of make sense because there's so much like items you can get hints and things from in the game? We, we hope <laughs> it works out, <laughs> so we... Um, sure. A few That's weeks a ago, we, we had a quite quite a lot okay. of play tests uh, from from mm. other players, and they all um, were able to to, to play it, and um, mm. they all found it very cool. Some what? for some it took longer, for some it um, was mm. faster, but in the end, um, I think it is quite a yeah, balanced out um, approach for the puzzle aspect because we don't want to call it a pure puzzle game. It's not a hardcore puzzle game. It's, it's yeah. just an element, so even the non-puzzle gamer should be able to solve it. But mm -hmm. late, later on, there will be also some puzzles which are a bit more difficult. Um, mm. But yeah, like, like I said, balanced out, not too hard, not too easy. 
Mm. Gosh, those drawings were terrifying. <laughs> you know, Dory's okay. Oh, very int That's very trippy, huh? So it feels like kind of what unreal. Going what's going on? This has to be another dream. Is that kind of where the psycho thriller stuff comes in, where you don't know where his stuff is real or not throughout? Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. We sh we change the this the environments and scenes right by quite a lot. The so you, mm. you jump around and. Um, Dory, is that you? Yeah, everything blends together, and yeah, yeah. You, like I said in the beginning, you really try to figure out uh, what what's going on. Gosh, it looks Dory, gorgeous. You guys done such a good job. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy, I found a real. Oh gosh. <laughs> Sweetie, that's called a dragonfly. Oh, be careful. They can breathe fire. <laughs> Don't be silly, Walter. You'll scare her. That is both adorable and creepy. <laughs> <laughs> really good balance. Dory, that's a combination what are you doing out here? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can imagine the lighting took a while to get down, but it looks incredible. Was also quite a technical challenge to to get mm. the performance because we use the Unity engine and this is the HD render pipeline. Um, wow. the, the, the new rendering tech, but yeah, you really have Wait to fine tune everything that so that it is playable <laughs> on a variety Absolutely. of machines. Um, yeah. Yeah, what a difficult thing to do with PC gaming too. That everyone's got something different. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I prefer. And so not now we're entering. <laughs> The circus bit, I suppose. Yeah, this is the approach to the circus plaza. And so this is the environment that most of the game will be in, or will we kind of go back and forth between environments? Back and forth. So there, there will be another scene where where the circus will play an important role, um, mm. and yeah, something that is related to this. I don't want to spoil too much here, but um, <laughs> I think we will see that later. Um, and yeah, there, there, there is a variety, a and like I said, you, you jump the just back stays and forth here. and hmm. yeah, try to figure out what, what, what is going on and what are all these locations you are seeing. And hmm. The story itself is quite a puzzle, so to right. put it together. Yeah. I know we talked already about kind of inspirations for the circus environment, but what other reasons did you choose this environment specifically? Because I think it's so unique and people will be very drawn to it, I think, in, in the genre. For us, it's important that um, in these kind of games, you can dive into a unique world and mm. um, you ex can explore things that you don't see every day. Um, and at the same time, we want to um, surprise the player as much as possible mm. and i think the the circus setting has great potential to deliver many yes. of these um things gosh yeah the environmental sound design is incredible really eerie i think for now we stop here yeah i think that's a really good look of the beginning part of kind of how you enter the story and definitely this kind of element of both puzzles and an eerie environment that I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on in that circus because <laughs> I'm sure it's terrifying. Well, should we switch over to the second part of the game that you guys are going to show us today, yes. which is a bit further into the save file um, and should show you a bit more action packed sequence of the game. But this is kind of the, the way that it starts. So thank you so much for showing us the beginning part of the game. Cool. Okay, we are going to jump into the second part of the save file and explore this next Wait, scary start. <laughs> or st scary part, part of the game, I should say. Yes, like you can see, it's quite dark now. Mmm, <laughs> totally different vibe. Yeah. It's still the little circus is here. This is the circus train. And how many hours is this into the game, approximately? One and a half, I would say, something like that. Okay, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys have obviously are pros at this game now. I'd be <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Maybe I can block the door with this. <laughs> At least yeah, 
water go? I better hurry. Again, you can really showcase the sound design here. No weaver. Terrifying. Did a couple of the wagon. What could it be? Oh gosh. My worst nightmare in trying to solve a puzzle when you're being chased by a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> what a way. <laughs> yeah. So this was one of, of our more gameplay focused um, scenes of the game. Like like I said at the Very beginning, cool. it's, it's a mix of puzzles, exploration, narrative, and mm. in this case also horror and chase. Um, yeah, and we really tried to have multiple pillars in the game. Um, yeah. Not just puzzles, not just narrative. So really have a nice blend of all things. Yeah. Absolutely. I think a good like thriller game, especially, it is all about that that balance of tension of having your relaxing moments, so that when the tension does come, you're extra terrified. Yeah. <laughs> um, which that was a very good showcase of because I am not looking forward to playing that bit, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people will enjoy watching me play that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, incredible. Well, that was a good way to also showcase how um, the game kind of develops throughout the story. I'm curious as a, kind of our last question before we wrap up today. Um, I know you guys are working on this idea of multiple endings for the games. How does that impact the story and the gameplay throughout? Mm -hmm. So the, the game itself um, is quite linear. So we, we have our story in mind, so the narrative that we want to, to provide. The player can look around and... Um, pick up story bits in quite a different order, but in the end it's uh, quite quite linear. So it really has this, this high quality that we want. Um, and later on, at the end, the player will be able to, to choose from several endings. So it's nothing at the beginning branches out uh, completely. <laughs> um, it's more at the end, you will be able to, to choose from different endings and you can yeah, finally decide um, mm. what what's going to happen with the with the character um yeah this was Incredible. already too much so. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm very excited to hear more about that and see it once we play the game in this final version um the story seems so interesting and kind of mysterious so i'm sure everyone will really enjoy diving more into that once you get your hands on the game um, but thank you so much, Bennett and Stefan, um, for talking with us today. I really, really appreciate it. And it's been really nice to see some extra exclusive footage of the game we haven't seen before. Is there anything else you wanted to mention before we wrap up? I don't think so. Oh, exactly. Thank you for having us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And if you guys want to play the game, make sure you wishlist it over on Steam. It helps us so very much and we so much appreciate it. And keep an eye on the development of the game by following us over on our socials, which we'll put down below. And thank you again so much to Pixel Split and Bennett and Stefan specifically for talking with us today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think down below and if you'll be picking up the game when it comes out this year.